Um, we're gonna play some uh, Library of Ruina. <laughs> He's made of rubber. Yo ho ho, he took a bite of gum gum. Anime rapping is weird. A lot of my friends enjoy it. I guarantee it. I guarantee your friends do are, are not fans of the uh Four kids, one piece intro. Oh, I just wasn't starting it because you weren't around, I'm at him. <laughs> By the way, um, I don't know if you were here when I said it, I am at him, but that one stream where I did play the intro did get copyright claimed. Not struck. To be fair, not struck. And I will play the uh, whatever music sequences happen. But I'm not going to play the intro <laughs> again. <laughs> that was One Piece, I assume? It was One Piece. How are y'all doing? It's been a week. Been another week. Um, okay, so now that a lot of you are here, let me go ahead and uh, remind y'all. Uh, next Tuesday I'm not streaming. I might stream later in the week. Um, just to kind of make up for that fact, there will be, uh, uploads queued up. So, you know, there's going to be lots of Caves of Cud content if you're a fan of that. I'm going to try and, uh, get a, a vintage story or two finished for next week. So there's plenty of that to look forward to. Um, and I will be streaming an extra day a week in October because it's the it's the spooky month. Hey, well, it's a spooky month. Uh, and I, I've got lots of fun stuff planned. I plan on playing Resident Evil 2, which I have never... It would be my first Resident Evil game. I've never played a Resident Evil game ever. So that should be fun. And I'm also going to... I'm planning on trying Pathologic 2, which I've never played. It's your 28th birthday. Yo, Dimethorn, happy birthday. Here, let me let me uh, let me play you your your birthday song. Hold on a second. Hold on, I got this. I got your birthday song set up. I, I didn't forget. I didn't forget Dimethorn. Um, no, what? Stop it. Okay, hold on a second. For for the next. However long this bit is funny for, we're gonna listen to this. Aw, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump into it. Yes, I'm afraid San and Julia couldn't make it back. Requesting additional support. Sigh. Isadora, what do you think the purpose of the library is? From the information we've gathered so far, it's the accumulation of knowledge. Accumulation of knowledge, you say. The library simply offers a deal. It has no influence on the outside world. It only rewards or punishes those who have entered. Hey, uh, chat, how, how are you liking this um, tonal dissonance? How is this working for you? I could, I could, I could make it better. You want me to make it better? The winner can get the books they want, and the loser becomes a book that the library wants. Any linkage to the distortion phenomenon 
That is unclear, sir. But my instinct suggests that it has to be related to the phenomenon somehow. And why is that? The invitation to the library, its books and the beings called librarians that reside there. All elements of the library are similar to what we've seen of the distortion. Probably about a month before the before the puppet comes back. Puppet be voice cracking? That's because there's a gun against its head. And if it doesn't perform, it's it's off to the puppet glue factory. <laughs> A common feature is that it's impossible. Okay, we're... Alright, the joke is good. If y'all didn't know, that was the soundtrack to Commander Keen. The joke is good. We're good. Bad Rads. Maybe one day I'll play Bad Rads. I'll admit my brain has not parsed a single sentence of here. <laughs> oh, that's good. That means I can get away with saying just about anything in my puppet voice. And then people will just like, ha ha. Haha, ha. puppet voice funny, <laughs> and then I can just say whatever spicy take I want. McDonald's is overrated and isn't good for you. Also, you can microwave your coffee and it's absolutely fine. Whoever leaked GTA 6 is probably not a very good person and did it for unethical reasons. Also, it's fine to see a game in its unfinished state. That's an unfinished game. It doesn't matter if it's unfinished. That's the whole point. Why Why? Why are we mad that it's unfinished? I don't get it. What? Sorry, what? Happy. Haha, -ha, puppet voice funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm a 10. <laughs> the dissonance. There's just like extreme whiplash in chat. Like... I'm just up here, yo, hot take his puppet voice, ha ha, funny. And you're just like, I haven't seen my dad in eight years. <laughs> Jesus. He brought me $330 worth of food and disappeared again. Oh. Like that episode of The Simpsons. Remember that episode of The Simpsons where Homer saw his mom? I have a hot take, but promise me you won't hate me forever. But you come in my chat every week with some kind of hot take. And these hot takes are like, not no offense, almost deliberately contrarian. It's stuff like, hot coffee is actually not a good beverage and you shouldn't enjoy it anymore. <laughs> so feel free to drop your hot take in chat. And I reserve the right to completely ignore it. If that's all right, um, I will acknowledge it, but I have I have no retort and in, in, uh, in relevance. But hit hit us with your your spicy take. Is there giraffes in Canada or any? Well, I mean there are giraffes in in Toronto, but they're in a zoo. Does that count? It's hamburgers. I'm sorry I added a little bit of a of, of an accent to that, but the way it was spelt in Drino and chat, it just sounded like hamburger. Actually, let me see. Um, oh, I, I, I was gonna I was gonna try and put a thing. Haha, <laughs> funny boy. <laughs> Tell you what, bot, but hit us with your spicy take and I'll I'll sit I'll read it in the puppet voice and that way it won't be spicy anymore. I like tacos. Cud is worse Cud is worse than Skyrim, everyone. Cud is bad. Cud is bad spreadsheet. Skyrim good open world RPG. Cud bad. Cud bad. Skyrim good. I like cud. I like Skyrim and uh, mature games like uh, Far, Far Cry. The Far Cry series is very good and mature and a good game. Caves of Cud, bad. What? What happened? Oh, how long was I out? Ham <laughs> hamburger. 
<laughs> GTA 6 leaks, leaks are better than Skyrim. <laughs> Skyrim bad, GTA 6 leaks good. Good game. I want a good video game with guns and open world and the people who take their clothes off. Mm. All right. A common feature is, is that it's impossible to observe them for an analysis of their constant uh, constituents or components. We cannot carry out a comparative. An uh, sorry, I'm a tan, uh, that I have completely torpedoed the storyline of this game with uh, our our puppet bit. Sorry, a comparative analysis because of this. But this inability to observe itself can be considered a common trait. It's not like you to make such baseless claims, is it? Section 6 will not and needlessly obsess over the library. There is simply too much uncertainty for us to recklessly jump into the case. The Zvai Association gets hundreds of requests every day. A fair number of them are allocated to us at Section 6. I'm sure you understand that your claims are not compelling enough to make us give up all these requests in favor of the library. How the hell do you eat $330 worth of groceries as one barely eating person? I'm not a mukbang YouTuber. Well, you could become one right now. Hit us with that $330 grocery mukbang, I'm a tan. Someone needs to port puppet pimple voice to a voice filter site. I mean, haha, haha, puppet funny, haha. -ha. Don't forget to turn the music back on. I am aware, sir. And yet, here you are, requesting additional manpower for investigating the library. Are you sure you aren't simply using the alleged linkage to the distortion uh, as an excuse to get your revenge on the library or retrieve the books of your colleagues? Hey, here's a question. Are they called the Zvi because they all have Zvi handers? Because all of their swords are, like, ridiculously large. Here's here's my hot take. Duty is to protect our clients from such shade in the city, is it not? You're right, sir. I should make a dabbing bimple so that when I throw out my my hot take, then I can just like dab like fifty times. They are the associ association two, or maybe it's just two of them. Zvi equals two. Damathorma, I'm gonna need you to uh, translate that into uh, Canadian maple syrups because I don't understand how much money that is. I need you to, to convert that to maple syrup so that I can understand how much money that is. 57, is that 57 pancakes? 57 drams of syrup with uh, a side of pancakes and maybe some um, female bacon. They have these swords in a novel about this setting. What, there's a novel in this world? What? Jimmy Neutron, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm a tan, I... What? There is Zvi, Jimmy Neutron, with his metallic dog. He uses an Iron Man Hulk suit. <laughs> what? I, I'm a 10. I have no idea what you just said. Nothing, uh, nothing uh, you just said made sense. And I know I broke my rule, but we're going to ignore that. We're just going to, we're just going to ignore that. Uh, remember the slogan of our association? Your shield, sir. Exactly. Our role is to be a trusty shield for our client. So don't put down that shield without good reason. Got it? You may leave now. There is an unfinished novel called Distortion Detective, but also it's true. Isadora? Yes. Did you happen to put this invitation in my drawer? 57 USD is one gallon of acorn syrup. I see. Do acorns come from maple trees? <laughs> no, they don't. Maple trees have those little seeds that spin around when you fall.
No, sir, I haven't received any new invitations yet. What is the current risk level of the library? It's currently resting at the urban legend class, but it has been slowly rising with every new report. No, I see. The book of distortion, is it? Wait, what? They've been using irresistible bait like this to attract their victims, haven't they? Things went rather smoothly thanks to your book. It's not something we could get. Oh, by the way, I saw a Lobotomy Corporation for $10, and I was tempted to grab it, but I figure by the time I finish this game, it'll be on sale again. <laughs> so, I didn't grab it. Um, but I do plan on at least trying Lobotomy Corporation. Maple syrup isn't that Canada stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Not even sure how it tastes. It might be sweet. You don't know how maple ta syrup tastes? Okay, imagine honey, but it's not. Okay, we did it. Things went rather smoothly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I simply offered them what they needed the most at the moment. I am better than anyone at understanding the situation at hand and coming up with an appropriate response. Ma'am, precisely ma'am, you surely did come up with a perfect solution to lure out the Zvai. Heck, if you can print out books right away, wouldn't it be nicer to just make a whole lot of them ourselves? There'll be soon a new game from the devs called Limbus Corp. It got announced last week. Oh, I didn't know that. Is there a trailer? Oh, I see. So, can I ask your publications from time to time then? I think maple syrup is the stuff Canadians use to throw at each other uh, at hockey games. Well, a fun fact, there's actually a, a vault in Canada. I can't remember where. I think it might actually be in Ottawa. Specifically for maple syrup. There is a trailer. Let me check it out real quick. Limbus. It doesn't appear on Steam. Is it not on Steam? I saw that Hyper Demon came out uh, yesterday. Not on Steam yet. It got a showcase on the Tokyo Game Show. Oh. Can I ask your, for your publications from time to time then? I am willing to cooperate since you're doing your job as my assistant. Just don't pr pester me too much. Sure thing, ma'am. A mere servant such as I wouldn't dare commit such atrocity as bothering our Mr. Sangelo. Oh, no. Do you think this will work out well? The director of a section in the association like the Zvai should be more than enough as our next step. The information he holds has got to be on a whole another level from what we've collected so far. Uh, just... I, I'm a tan. What kind of gameplay is the Lindus Corporation looking like? Like, this game is very dramatically different from uh, Lobotomy Corp. <clears throat> Why Toronto bad? I don't know. People love to hate on Toronto. So far, all I know about Canada is maple syrup. Sorry. Maple syrup. Rubber ducky. <laughs> Toronto bad, the fish kiss thingy, polite people. Oh yeah, and hamburger. Very unique. It's like an auto battler with tactics. Oh, that sounds dope. I'm I'm excited for that. I love me a good auto battler. This game's like almost an auto battler. I know that it's not, but like you can almost treat it like such. Um. The director of our section in the association like this vice should be more than enough as our next step. The information he holds has got to be on a whole nother level from what we've collected so far. It's been quite a while since I worked in the field. You haven't had any wor field work in a while, no? You're right, sir. If we can get this case resolved, we can finally get out of section, section 6. It's nice to be finally collecting information about the distortion directly from the source instead of having to get my hands dirty engaging on those lowly syndicates. Uh, Andrew, you know it's Limbus Corporation, the, the sequel to, or Limbus Company, the sequel to this. Can you call it a sequel or can just call it a new, another game in the same universe? 
Neither of us should rot in section six for the rest of our lives, wouldn't you yeah. agree? Yes. We can revenge, have revenge for your colleagues, get a lead on the distortion phenomenon and aim for a higher position all at the same time. How fascinating is that? Everything seems to fall into place too conveniently. Greetings, dear guests. I am the... You must be Angela, director and librarian of your role as namesake, right? Indeed. It's just as you said. I've seen reports about you, but it is true that you are a machine, not a human? Is it true that you were a machine? My, my. Staying quiet won't hide it, girl. A machine must behave as a machine. You've made quite a huge deal out of your little library. It's rather troublesome to have a non-human like you cause a fuss this big, you know? When can she, too? When it's done, I think. No, Kenshi's being worked on. It's gonna be released this December. Oh, nice. That gives me exactly enough time to not finish this, not even play Lobotomy Corporation, and then start Limbus Company without having finished either. At least 10 years after Library of went Wow. I don't think we should provoke her any further. May you find your book in this place. I would, like, I've talked about this before, but I wouldn't mind playing, um, uh, Kenshi for either stream or, uh, my channel, but it's, it's a, it's a game with a lot of downtime, and I just worry that it would be very boring for people. The game concept is pretty good, not sure why no big company bought it yet. I mean, a game company, a game company can only buy it if the uh, they're selling, you know. I don't see them as uh, being particularly want to sell. Store one light, inflict one paralysis on sale. Um, I gotta get rid of these charge ups. They're they're bad. So <clears throat> we're playing, we're finally actually playing some Library of Ruina. Downtime is great for streams though, as long as you can keep up the banter. I can keep it up. You have no idea how interesting I can be. Oh, nice word, banter. I'm trying to now just add a uh, like some kind of fictitious accent to anything that Andrino says now. What's the uh, quick button to? Oh wait a minute, we gotta roll first. Seven and six. Oh my god. Eh, we'll we'll spend some low ones. I have I have some vocab, some vocabulary. Shovel Knight Dig is only a few days away. I was saying this on Twitter. I wish that video games would like chill for a moment, because it's been nonstop ridiculous bangers, like every single day this year. Seriously, it really has felt like like I have not had a break. I have not had a break. Um, this is not great. I guess we could do like a double, no we can't do a double charge. We can't do a double anything. I don't know, this is fine. My vocabulary is quite limited, so I love when people use new words, not every time though, else I will not understand a thing. That's very conflagulating of you, Andrino. I don't know. Um, I will admit I'm not, I'm basically not paying attention to what <clears throat> I'm doing in this game right now. Which is fine. 
I think uh, this is like a level, the first part of this act, so I don't think that these are particularly difficult enemies to worry about. Ooh, ooh, that was nice. Ooh, yes. Conflagulating. <laughs> Conflagulating. Do you like hamburgers de frango? Is it frango or franjo? Ham hamburger? I'm just, uh, I'm channeling that guy on YouTube who's like holding a green smoking hamburger and crazy hamburger, crazy hamburger. Um, where is it? This person needs different cards. Can I change the, his cards? I don't think I can. All right, well, let's do this. You guys call sausages hot dogs? No, hot dogs and sausages are different things. They're, they're different. Don't, don't you conflate hot dogs with sausages, Andrino. Or I'll have to, I'll have to penalize you. That's a lot of light we're using. Let's not use as much light. There you go. Is your hot dog sausage red though? I don't, that's a very personal question. I think. Crazy hamburger. Ouchies. Ouch. Later down the line, you can transfer passes from key pages to another page. Oh, really? Oh, that sounds good. I like that. Um. I don't have enough. Oh, I guess I could do two, two of these. Oh, she's gonna die. She did a little bit of damage. Stop it. Hit them back. Hit them back. Yes. Keep hitting them. Ouch. Uh. Dies at the end of the third scene after which... Okay, so we're going to give this to the person who's about to die. Because it, it seems to give them a, a nice a bit of recovery. And they even have a chance to do some damage. Kind of want to hit the main, the head honcho there. We really don't have a lot of damage right now, do we? Okay. Hit him! Yos! Staggered! Yo! There we go. I like, uh, I love that, uh, perk. Giving it to, um, someone who's about to die gives him, like, one last chance to really do some damage. We can, uh, we can win this. We can turn this around. Uh, yes! Yes! Nice. Walter, monster truck, fire truck. What is happening in chat? I do like a chorizo. Passives get crazier. Um, I got to, I got to have a nice steak on Sunday. It was really nice. That's it. That's really it. 
I don't really do a lot of exciting things. I've been playing a lot of games on my Steam Deck. I played through and finished Death's Door. I've been uh, I've been playing some stuff that I didn't think would make for very interesting watching. Uh, like, wouldn't make for good content on my channel. I've been playing it on my, on my off time on my Steam Deck. And I even ordered, I wanted to, I want to do some comfy gaming. So I, uh, I ordered something called a Yogi Bow, which I hate my insistence in, in calling it its branded name, the Yogi Bow, which is basically just a beanbag couch. Um, so that I can do some comfy gaming on the TV. Uh, what does it mean to ha behave as a machine? Uh, Boy, not that topic again. Someone I used to know loved to say that phrase. Like I told you before, making machines with emotions or sapiens is forbidden. Even if one were to be made, the head has long settled the ethical implications and all that. That means they've decided on a solid answer for the long-standing question, how is a machine with emotions different from a human? The answer being, even if a machine carries emotions and intelligence and is nearly identical to a human in every aspect, it is still a machine by birth. Machines should always be below humans. Therefore, it is now forbidden to create sapient machines as they can disrupt the proper judgment of societal values. This is a really interesting thing. I actually really appreciate how this game is even tackling this. That's, that's so clever. That is actually some genius stuff right there. Because, like, yeah, um, if if you create a machine that has all of the emotions and, and like, feelings and uh, of a human being and, and thinking power, like, how are they different? But the fact of the matter is, if if we are humans making that machine, there's there comes with that an expectation that they will serve people. But then how does that make them any different from, basically, uh, to put it lightly, a slave? Right? There are definitely ethical problems with doing that. Um, you can't, you shouldn't really make a machine with with emotions because then they will only basically suffer. You're basically programming something to suffer for no good reason. There's no benefit to, to doing that, right? So this game just like straight up says, no, against the law, don't do that. Uh, don't be making robots with emotions because there's no good end to that. And I kind of appreciate that. That's an interesting take. I haven't seen any, like really a lot of uh, like um, media tackle that. Big thy the greatest YouTuber I knoweth. Uh, thank you, my liege. In Brazil, we have pastel, which is like Russian pierogi. Pierogi. Is there anything like that? What is, I don't know what you're talking about, Andrino. The laws of the city are really weird, but they also make sense. They make a lot of sense. And yet the city is still basically a reflection of our world. Like, they, they have laws for very modern concepts, but, you know, they still have a caste system, basically, with people on the bottom and people on the top. Do I still have my drinking emoji? No, I don't. Oh, no, I still have that stupid button that opens edge. God damn it. Google it. <laughs> baklava seems delicious. I, we have baklava. <laughs> what is... What are you talking about? What is the thing you're... Google it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just hold on. Let me just stop the stream, everyone. Hold on. I'm just gonna Google what this is. Pastel. Ah, uh, oh, Brazilian pastel in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. <laughs> uh, they look like deep fried um, pizza pockets. But I'm sure that they're like sweet, right? <laughs> I wish we had that in America. You know what we have? Beaver tails. Which are pretty good. I won't say that they're like 
I won't compare them to any other sweetness, right? But they're good. I can't describe it. Way too complex for Canadian mind. Yes, this is true. In my brain, there's just a picture of one of those little seeds from the maple tree that's spinning around. My mind is like an enigma. The inner, oh sorry, let me get the full line right. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Thy videos entertaineth me greatly. There induce me most wondrous amounts of joy. How? I'm playing Cud. Wouldn't you prefer I start a Skyrim series? Beaver tails? Beaver tails are basically pancakes, but they're like pastry pancakes, and then they get like covered in some kind of, you know, toppings. Like you can get a cookies and cream beaver tail that's basically, you know, just they've, they've got some like chocolate chips and stuff and they put some cream on it. It's very diabetes inducing. Is that Patrick? No. This is Patrick. Also, each district has its own laws. Like in one district, recording video or audio is a taboo. Or at the night, you can break into any buildings that's also a taboo. And there are taboo hunters. Skyrim ASMR. Furthermore, all existing sapient machines may be subject to termination regardless of ownership. In short, machines are machines and humans are humans. Machines exist solely to serve humans, is what they're saying. So it's not literally, no, it's not literally a beaver tail. We're like Canadian, so we have to brand it with some kind of Canadianism, right? <laughs> Disappointed. Skyrim series would, what is the best, most wonderful? Crazy Skyrim stream. Crazy. We have pastilla. Pastilla. It's a sweet treat made from apple mush. Is it like applesauce? That's the mindset people in the city decided to have. Where would human brains stuffed in heaps of scrap metal belong? Those would still technically count as humans. Some might consider them defiled and others might look down on them. But the brains themselves are natural. You get what I'm saying? What about an electronic copy of a human brain? That would be a machine since it's not born human. To be frank, I don't really get these standards either. I guess birthright may, matters to them the most. Maybe it's a defensive reaction born out of the urge to preserve humanity as a species. That's unfair. Nothing is ever fair in this world. You're right. It seems everyone lives with a share of unfairness they must bear. Now you're talking like a city dweller. Yo, Yasad. We're just gonna hit Yasad with the old Mars page. Uh, and then do this. Wait, does Mimesis have, uh, okay, Mimesis seems to have some stuff. So we're good. Yeah. I think we do have Pestle in America, but I don't know. We probably do. Yo, we're fighting Reddit. Heck yeah, I can't lose this fight. Okay, let me read it. Repetitive pattern recognition restore one light after dealing 10 or more damage in a single scene. They are all fighting defensively, gain four strength and one endurance next scene. Okay, all right. So we gotta, we gotta work fast. Work fast, not hard. Max damage. Lower the minimum value of all dice by one and raise the maximum value by three. <laughs> you have a Redditor a girl in your team, it will make Redditors quite confused. That's good. I appreciate that one. Ho ho ho.
We're really not doing a lot of damage to these guys. Uh, maybe I can like focus one. Hit him. Hit him. There we go. Yes. Oh, they're almost staggered. I wonder, shall we ever see if no one liveth under the lighthouse again? Maybe. I can't remember. Okay, we'll, we'll give it to Mimesis. Mimesis has some blunt. Wait, no, that, that was wrong, wasn't it? Oh, oops. Oh, well. So I have no more cars left. I'm gonna take some damage here, but I need to kill one of these things. Yes! Done. Staggered. I knew that was gonna happen. Mimesis is probably gonna die. Um, I might do... I might do uh, No One Lives Under the Lighthouse again one day. But there's so many other games that I haven't, like, done. So, I don't know. Like, I have a game I downloaded months ago for the purposes of streaming called Dagon, which was... I actually grabbed it for the HP Lovecraft fans in chat. Which there are quite a few. Smack him! Staggered, yes! Hit him! Yes! Alright, we should be able to kill the last one. They do have quite a lot of strength, so that's a bit worrying, but I, I think we'll be okay. Ah, uh, Mimesis is dead. Not letting them deal damage and starving them of light. Oh. Well, I didn't do that, did I? They're almost staggered. I should be able to kill them if I stagger them. Oh no, I don't have enough light. What? That was weird. Stagger them. Yes! Yes! Okay, we should be able to win. Don't know... I don't know my HP love... Ah, oh, I'm... You retracted it. I doubt any microorganism will survive my microwave. What about my coffee? Ice coffee. Your book delivery is here. Tidied up my clothes in advance this time, too. Oh, greetings. Angela's lapdog. Come on, still at it with that? The books you brought me last time were interesting, to say the least. I learned that the technologies employed in the back streets were interwoven in a disorderly manner. Um, gears and uh, hanging gears over your table, whatever. Isn't that a little bit on the nose, Mr. Tech Dude? Is anyone mere than the me yawned? <laughs> from crude equipment made of junk to clothes woven from antimatter, all kinds of technologies at various levels of advancement can be seen. There's cutting edge tech out there, but only a few get to benefit from it. I assume wealth is a determining factor. We're in an era where rich people don't have to worry about any disease. We have all sorts of cures now, too. <clears throat> Granted, you have the cash to buy them. And then we have people playing God with these technologies called singularities. What, that, what was Lobotomy Corp singularity, by the way? The corpse gone now, anyway. So no one's gonna sue us for spilling the beans. Aren't you shameless? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Hey, stop treating me like an idiot. I'm not that stupid, you know? Lobotomy Corp's uh, singularity was physically manifesting the human mind, an abstract co concept. 
You mean you caveman like bash enemy with, with the rock man? Nothing about this floor is technology in gameplay. <laughs> Converting human emotions to physical energy in the same vein as the library. Human emotions can be interpreted as a complex mass. That mass is built up through experiences. When emotions are heightened enough, the page will be chosen. A spot is reserved for a person's book. It is comprehensive manifestation of their ego. Yo, this guy's using big words on me, huh? As the battle becomes fiercer and the combatants get agitated, the egos will grow intense and allow their mental states to be physically expressed. Physically manifesting, manifesting the mind, huh? Certainly seems similar to the distortion. What did you just say? Oh, nothing. Just a bit of monologue. Anyway, uh, that sure sounds like a singularity, all right? Impressive indeed. You know, it makes me wonder. Alcus said you guys were part of a project that aimed to save humanity, right? That is true. What kind of saving was that all about, it, really? <clears throat> Make money rain from the sky or something? That would save everyone, for sure. Can't be compared to such ridiculous nonsense. And you have no right to talk so lightly about the sacrifices we made. Oh, alright, calm down now, sheesh. Can't even crack a joke around here. We sought to cure the mind. Carmen was the leader of our research team. She said every person in the city had a diseased mind, and that the disease was so severe, humanity would slowly lead itself to self-destruction at this rate. Getting political now, aren't we? She described the situation as no better than lemmings willingly jumping into a pit of fire. What? She smells a lot like a shady cult leader, according to my tingling fixer sense. And everyone agreed to what she said just like that? And now you're talking to me, uh, taking me for a fool. Of course, they were quantitative uh, indices, indices, indices to scientifically prove her claim. I suppose it would be useless to describe them to you in detail. Knowing the how things in the end makes me appreciate this dialogue even more. How things go in the end? Okay, Egghead, setting that aside. Did you guys succeed with that goal of saving humanity? You never ceased to annoy me. We, if we succeeded, we wouldn't be here doing this. Oh yeah, fair point. The fact that we failed to hu save humanity is not what makes me upset the most. We have committed countless sins, all in the name of a single righteous purpose, saving humanity. We convinced ourselves that we had no other choice. We performed unethical experiments and knowingly drove employees to death in the Bottom Corporation. We tolerated all those vile deeds for a greater good. But all of that is about to be for naught. What will be made of their sacrifices? All the pain me and my colleagues endured. Angela ruined it all. Gibura? Fatigued already? What a shame. My employees and I are up for more. What? What is this scene? Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill you for sure this time. Bina, not even you will manage to break through our combined effort. You raise a valid concern, it is true. Even I cannot stop all of you in such a short time. We will need to act quickly, Angela. I was just about to do something about it. Ah, oh, shucks. The clip, clip, fa, uh, cliff off deterrence is being lowered. It's overriding my authority on the system. The abnormalities are breaching. All Sephiroth and personnel, please follow my lead. The control team will be command in, be in command now. Akma and the architecture team, please stop Angela from taking over all the systems. Understood. Jibura and the disciplinary team, please step. Uh, please keep Bina at bay. You bet. Leave this to me. Pod and the training team, provide the employees with the right manual and information. Bina equals scary, evil scary bird lady. Jabura equals angry strawberry with thunder thighs. Where is Kevbo? <laughs> Attention to all employees, this is a type X emergency protocol. Please act accordingly to the following information, or the following instructions. Nutsack and the safety team, please focus on treating the wounded. All right, I'll try to take care of him as quickly as I can. You saw it in the information team. Please identify the weakness of the escaping abnormalities right away. 
I will analyze them all with the utmost precision. Chesed and the welfare team, please work on restoring the cliff off, cliff off the deterrence as much as as uh, soon as possible. We'll do. This one is my fault after all. No time to feel guilty, Chesed. Tifereth and the central command team, please support everyone with your resourcefulness. I was gonna. No need to say it. It brings me joy to see you all act in such coordination. Now try and stop us till the end. You will never understand how we desperately struggled to stop her from snuffing out our light. And the guilt we feel from compromising at the end. You're right, I won't. All I care about is helping Angela. I want her to achieve her goal, you know? So you simply want the results, whatever the process may entail. You're no different from Angela in that you only care about your own well-being. You're despicable, a typical example of an inhabitant of the city, suffering from the disease of the mind. You use the technologies the city has to offer for your immediate convenience, not knowing or caring about the sacrifices those technologies were built upon, not knowing that you're bringing about your own demise. Oh, so that's the whole diseased mind thing you're about. I should value the process more than the result? Ha. You were a bunch of dreamers and snobs all along. I bet you're from one of the nests. Look, I know better than anyone about the price of those technologies and singularities. Diseased mind my ass. And your point about people using singularities without knowing how they really work? That's because they literally have no other option. The corpora uh, corporates that conceal so much the consumers eventually gave up inquiring. Because they're tired. They're already too busy sustaining their everyday life. It appears that I'm not getting through to you. Oh, what a coincidence. I was thinking the same thing, too. No matter what you say, I do not want to turn a blind eye to this reality nor conform to it. Hey, Colin. Yo, Yasad seems like kind of a jerk. Yo, we got Reddit abilities. Heck yeah, bud. I obtained ability. Shadow ban. Nothing personal, kid. Does he boil his brain in hot beverage? <laughs> oh, we have a choice. So, we could do... I don't know. Or, we could do... I don't know. Alright, cool. Yeah, that works. Uh, let's burn some books. Right, right, okay. You know what, let's, yeah, no, 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 we're, we're good with this. Burn this vibe books, I'm doing that, I'm doing that, calm down. Do, do, do. We got Isadora's page. She only has the one dice, but that's okay. Slash, dagger, stagger damage. I should uh, make some like proper pages. There's a lot of abilities here, and I, I am just straight up not going to go through all of them. Um, so I feel like, here's what I'm thinking, is I think I should take off all of the uh, key pages, like all of the all of the what do you like abilities, combat pages from everyone, and then take off all the key pages, and then basically figure out like four builds as you were talking about Imatan. Um, these two branches introduce deck builds, like specific ways to build your decks and such. Oh, so sh maybe I should hold out on, on this idea then. Bastards, like you need some beating. <laughs> Get it into your thin skull. That's enough, Geon me. Beating them to death won't do us any good. District 22 may be our turf, but these chumps you're beating into a pulp may be from Zvia Sector 6. 
we're talking about an association here. We're gonna be even bigger trouble if you kill them all. Walter! It, if only that bastard kept his promise, we wouldn't have gotten into this mess. We needed the floor plan of El Corp's nest. He'd be strong. Crazy hamburger. The Zvi had it. We should teach these nice people a lesson on how important it is to keep promises. Night will fall soon. Sweepers could come for our asses any second now. And the thumb wouldn't even contact us. We shed blood gathering intel on the distor distortion for that bastard Walter and this is how he repays us. I forgot to draw my fan art. I had fan art to show off last week and I didn't and I feel really bad about that. I'm sorry. I think it was Kevbo's as well. The zealots at the Church of Gears took out more than half our syndicate. Their leader was an inhuman freak, all right. We worked our asses off securing the goods from the church, and for what? I wanted to draw Big's head on this, on this buff dude. <laughs> we can't hand over the floor plan of El Corp's nest to the thumb. All that's left for us is to get purged by the thumb for failing our job. Shouldn't have made a deal with that, an association in the first place. At least Walter has a sensible one. Maybe something happened to him. He might have been a cunning old fart, but he was still the director of Zvi sector, Section 6. Besides, he'd usually leave field jobs to his men. Doesn't make sense for him to die all too suddenly. Anything can happen. For darn sake, you really killed them. <laughs> That's one more option for us. You've done it again. Flew into a blind rage and crushed their bones and guts to a pulp. Kill me! Even if they were a bunch of small fry from Section 6, killing this many of them might get Section 2 or 3 to chase us down. That's why I could send an army of fixers at us now. These sons of bitches need to understand that what the weight of a promise is. I hope you have a backup plan for when the Zvi come to thank us for that lesson. Just look at this. An envelope? The rumored invitation to that library. Hold on. Among the books of the day they listed, there's the Book of Walter. So that's what happened. You had a plan after all. What? Beyond me. So you already knew what, that Walter died in the library and still pulverized Section 6? It's about sending... A damn message! Syndicates have a tendency to kill more than they need to. Unlike fixers, they cause trouble just because they feel like it. Anyway, what we're trying to do, getting sweepers and the thumb involved? I might know about the sweepers. You do? Well, I guess they are infamous. I saw them tear humans to pieces and use them as fuel. Are they like that in real life, too? These are tattoo augmentations. Oh. Sort of. One sweeper is tough as is, but what's really scary is their organizational power. They crawl out of the woodwork every night and clean the back streets. We can't even guess how many of them are there. Are there. No matter how many we take down, more would show up the next night. Think we can make it back in time? Isn't it a bit tight? It is, but we'll probably get back just in time. Greetings, dear guests. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Scratch that. Just let us in. We're in a hurry. You are rather impatient, I see. I said shut up. Let us in. Now, may you find your book in this place. How it F worse than B? That's a good question, Mimesis. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. We live in a society. I really need to change this person's cards. They're not, they're not okay. Oh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't too bad. Ouch, that was bad. I'm a tan got slapped hard. 
Okay, this is bad. They're they're gonna hit Imatan real hard, and I can't actually do anything about that. Hey, oh no, I didn't put the Mars page back. I hate that. That's so annoying. So Roland is just working with his default deck. That's why he's getting absolutely destroyed. You're gonna get disassembled. All right, let's uh, let's get out of this. There's no point in prolonging that one. All right, first of all, let's put Roland's page back on. Um, now, so we want uh, Zvi's page, Zvi pages. Uh, is there any major difference to these? I'm gonna go. Oh, they're they're exactly the same. Okay. I'm gonna be. I'm a dead real soon. Okay. So keeping in stride, recover one HP from upon winning a clash. Um, Non-stop assault seems good. Combat preparations. Uses give two endurance to all allies next scene. This seems like a good defensive one. Inflict one paralysis next scene. On hit. Oh, these are really good. Uh on clash win, deal two damage. I need some one cost. On defense, recover two HP. These seem pretty good. On clash, win. Boost next die is max value. Inflict burn. I didn't get Walter page. Should I grind Walter for that page? Okay. I'm a 10. Let's give you some stuff. I'm gonna go pretty much the same. We can go a little bit burn heavy. We got bash, pen. Um, having a bit of slash and evade would be good. Combat prep is very good. If you play five or more, you would stack insane amounts of endurance. Is that the one I just put on? No, combat prep. Which one is that? Where is that? I see cooking prep. Uh, where is combat prep? Where is that? Oh, co uh, combat preparation. Not enough combat pages. Well, okay, I've got that on void. Okay, we need to give Roland some new cards. Uh, these are pretty good. I like to keep uh, Roland's uh, light usage pretty low. Is there anything I should trade some of these two out? He's got some really good cards. These are these are honestly good cards. I don't see them being necessary to take out. Maybe I could take out some of the keep it fresh. I think I might have something better now. Uh, Guardian seems really good. Let's throw in a bunch of guardians. Cause give one endurance to all allies, and then one to five and one to six seems really good for one cost. It's worth grinding Walter. He has very nice passes. Okay. Oh, we should also check to see... Um, do we have any new things? We do. Boost slash damage attack. We don't have that much. Oh, we do have a bit of slash. 
Defeat Lulu one times in the second. Uh, no, two percent chances boost slash again. All right, well, we want that, I guess. And we got a new thing: five percent chance to boost blunt damage. Some of these hats are like ridiculous. Um, can we turn? We can turn these off, right? Hey, that that actually works now. Uh, what do we got here? Anything good? Something. Stagger resist, extra HP. Okay, we're good. And then Void, you got anything good? We got one thing, which we're gonna turn off. Actually, I kinda like that on him. That looks all right. There's a new unnamed nugget for your sod floor. Um, I'm gonna like very much smooth brain this for now. I'm a tan and just like keep using the, the team Roland for now. I know that's not good. That's not good play, but uh, that's kind of how I want to do it for now. Okay, let's uh, let's do let's grind against Walter for a moment. There is a I, I know like who wants to be a nugget. Like, I'll, I'll certainly name them, but I don't really want to, like, customize a new one. Uh, retaliate, on clash win. Nice. Ludicrous. Oh, ouch. It's fine. I staggered, I think, two of them. It's good play, just if someone wants a librarian, they can. Nuggets are for eating and to be eaten. I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. So you're saying it's good play to just use the one team, but uh, we're, we're, we're still going to name them for the sake of uh, having some um, chat engagement. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going very well right now. Oh, I almost don't even need to use all of these. These humans can't be nuggets. They contain meat. So I'm going to try and get Walter's page. It, when I get Walter's page, then I'm going to do the next story section, and then I think we're going to call it for Library of Ruina. Um, yeah, I like these, uh, this guardian seems like a really good ability because we can just like use it without worrying and it, it's going to give everyone a bit of endurance. Ouch. Ouch. Nice. I'm a tan. Yeah, yes. We we staggered the big cheese. Please do right path after Walter. Okay, I got gotcha. you. We're just gonna have. I think I want to have everyone hit. No, I'll I'll, I'll hit someone else, but I want to hit uh, the big cheese like really hard here. Oh no! Oh no, they didn't do any damage, they're gonna lose health. And they got staggered as well, damn it. Wow. 
I should have just had them all hit the, the big cheese. They would have all done some damage. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Roland's just gonna destroy them. Defensive dice gain one to two power. Receive one plus three to five stagger damage when hit. Uh, I like this one more. Thighhander? Oh, I see. Uh, you want me to do the right path because there's a specific character with a specific body trait? Is that what's happening? I don't know who that is either. Neville, a friend asked me what I think about Jordan Peter. We don't we don't talk about Jordan Peterson. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but I don't want to admit that I don't know what should I say. Um, say you don't like Jordan Peterson, and if they say start to give you a wall of text, then you don't want to necessarily be that person's friend anymore. Not joking, by the way. Not to be political, but uh, Jordan Peterson's kind of a POS. Did we get to, did we get Walter's book? We have to burn his book, don't we? Did I not get any of the book? I didn't get Walter's book, did I? Uh, I have to do that again now, don't I? Damn it. I can't believe I didn't get Walter's book. I get is it it's a random drop, right? Set fire to everything. Listen, I'm not gonna you know I'm not I don't want people to get the, the wrong idea. I, I'm not specifically telling people who you should or should not be friends with. I'm saying that if someone is a huge fan of Jordan Peterson, I specifically would not want to be their friend. <laughs> um, that's some like 4chan green texting BS that I don't want necessarily in my life. Maybe you're different uh, and that's fine. Just, uh, you know, to put it lightly, that, that, that would keep, keep it out of the chat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I'm really not a huge fan of that kind of personality. Points, point of sale. Yeah, that's it. That's what POS means. Person of speech? No, um... Andrino, if you are actually asking, it, it means piece of shit. P Petituary olfactory sense. Wow, they really hate this person in particular, huh? We're not necessarily doing super well right now. Rolling fairly badly. Come on. Wow. Damn it. Gain extra speed. Okay, we need to kill someone here in the middle. Combat preparation sounds good. Wow, some nice damage. 
But who is Jordan Peterson and why is he so bad? I'm not the channel to get that kind of information. I'm afraid. <laughs> like, um, they're, uh, to put it really, like, I really don't want to get into this, but they're, they're, they're kind of a cancel culture exists kind of person, if you get what I mean. You know, like, oh, these, these minorities are, are bad, be but for my legitimate reasons and not because I am, you know, a, a POS. Anyway, that's, that's a, that's a, all I'm going to say on that subject. Um, they're, they're worse than this. This is the last one. They're worse than this, but um, they're the kind of person that, that would uh, give you their, their legitimate reasons why Black Dwarves and Rings of Power is actually not okay. And, and it's because they, they feel strongly about the source material and not just because they're, you know, they, they have uh, <laughs> a personal bias. Road to hell made with good deeds. His messages got so distorted. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> I am sorry. I, I'm I'm just straight up not the content creator to to give you what you need. I can certainly give you my own opinions, but then this becomes a political channel. <laughs> Which is not necessarily wrong or bad. I mean, I do have strong political uh, opinions, but you know, then the then the channel becomes less entertaining and more. Um, I don't know. I think you get what I mean. Nice. Wow, I'm a ten. Absolutely destroy that person. I think I'm a ten is going to die fairly soon because I gave him the, uh, the kill perk. Oof. Yeah, I'm a 10 died. Oopsie. Oopsie doodle. Wow, we don't have enough light for even that move, huh? Well, Roland's got like a ridiculous amount of health, so he should be able to tank pretty much anything. Dwarfs without beards are just little humans though. I did, that was my favorite take I saw online is like the, the worst thing about um, the dwarves in Rings of Power is just that they don't have, they don't all have beards. Women, women dwarves should have beards. Um, I really don't feel like strongly one way or another about Rings of Power. I haven't watched it and I don't really plan on it. There we go. Roland is about to get staggered and he actually is taking a beating. Wow, Roland is just like straight up doesn't have any light right now. I, I kind of need to kill this guy, so I'm not going to waste time. There we go. Book of Walter obtained. Yes. Has anyone seen Rings of Power? Would you recommend it? I don't know. Uh, I will recommend Sandman, though. I really enjoyed it, and I'm really frustrated that it hasn't been renewed yet. You know, it's just, like, I gotta say, it's really, really nice. It's really refreshing to see a show get it right. Just, like, get it perfectly right. Like, an adaptation of something that you actually do enjoy. And it's like, wow, it's good. It's actually, like, amazing. Um, it, it, it's almost word for word uh, a perfect adaptation. Yes, it does have that kind of, like, um, Netflix gloss that kind of makes it feel a little bit generic but it's still Sandman and it's still very well written and I really enjoyed it I, I appreciated the the gender bending when when it was used and it was used appropriately uh, I appreciated that they uh, swapped a couple of races around um, and I appreciated that they kept so strictly to the book it was kind of absurdly good and I'm, I'm so I'm very sorry that Sandman season 2 is not confirmed yet 
so. Don't forget to press P when enemy is staggered and will be for sure defeated. Oh, I forgot about P. <laughs> I forgot about P. Okay, we got some Book of Walter. Let's, uh, let's burn all these books. Come on, key page. Yo, we got three key pages? I didn't even think that was possible. We can't have multiple uh, Mars key pages, right? I haven't watched the cyberpunk anime. Uh, I don't really have much interest in it because I haven't played the game and I don't really have much, like, I, I, I have more investment in this kind of cyberpunk than I do in that cyberpunk, if that makes sense. I don't know, there's something, this is gonna sound weird, but there's something about cyberpunk 27-7 that makes cyberpunk dystopia feel uh, kind of, I don't know, commercial. <laughs> Does that make sense to anyone? Actually, let's uh, set up some pages. Okay, who, I'm a 10, who should I give, who should I give the uh, Walter page? Should I give it to everyone on Roland's team? Also, who in chat would like to be a, uh, a nugget, to put it? Very... Walter Fire Truck Monster Truck. Okay, we're gonna give both people on Lo Roland's team Walter Truck. Too much Walter. <laughs> Big, did your doppelganger get scared and run away? Haven't seen news on them for a while. No, they're still they're still going strong, unfortunately. I haven't really heard, like, I haven't gotten any uh, emails from anyone recently. You wanna, oh, Dimethorn wants to be a nugget? Okay. Hisad Gustafson, you're gonna be, Dimethorn, do you want me to try and make them look like Commander Keen? I can try and do that. How do you do that? Well, you give them something that kind of looks like a helmet for hair. Let me try and find a hel some helmet hair. Um, kind of like this one. And then I'm gonna make it yellow. Okay. And then um, that's actually a pretty good face, but I wanna give them a pink shirt. God killing Walter. <laughs> Let me see if I can give him like a smiley face. I mean, this this kind of works. Oh, there we go. There's one right there. Uh, let's give him very generic eyes, like something like this. That works. We could also do that, but I think that's too anime. And then we want no eyebrows. Or do we want some eyebrows? Like, does that work? Skin color is gonna be white, like that. And then we wanna give them a pink shirt. Honestly, what you're wearing right now, what what they're wearing right now isn't bad. Yeah, let's go with that. I can't really, like, aside from a t-shirt, I, I can't really, like, find anything more appropriate. That looks dope. Perfect. Um, oh wait, we, we we gotta we gotta assign some pages to these guys. Okay, so combat preparation. I only have two of these apparently. These ones benefit from they have speed dice slot plus one, cannot overlap. Defensive dice power plus one, so they have some pretty good defense. Well, I'm gonna give both combat preps to there to that one. Uh, to Imatan and uh, lots of guardians. 
Guardian seems like just like a really good card. It doesn't have very high... Um... No, it does have pretty high damage. Give On use, give one endurance to all allies next to you. And then um, on Clash win... What's a good three cost card? Besides gut harvesting, because I don't have enough of those. Non-stop assault seems good. Hey, Wei. Where is Wei? I don't see them. Hopefully they went back to the Shadow Realm. I mean, the thing about uh, Bimple Doppelganger is they are very much an automated thing. Like, it's not someone sending out a bunch of emails. It's someone who set up a little, like, a little program that just like automatically hits up every single dev developer on uh on steam it sucks um that someone can do that there should be better like systems in place to to make sure that that's not a an option but there isn't um i don't know this i don't know if i like this one very much Recover HP equal to stacks of bleed on target. This isn't bad, but I need more bleed to make it doable. Can't you burn them? You have 55 retaliate. Uh, no, you don't. I don't think you, you don't burn the combat pages. And I don't want to have like a bunch of three costs on this one character. This could be good. Inflicts uh, bind. Hey there. Oh, I, sorry. There's there's way. I don't know why I didn't see them. And we're gonna do pretty much the same thing for uh, void here. We'll put on a retaliate, nonstop assault, and um, I guess a strong strike. Cause then we have like we have like a bit of everything. Um, and then, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. set fire is good. Inflict three, burn three, deal three damage to self. I didn't realize that that was hurting this. This seems like a good one. And then have a bunch of guardians. And then, um, uh, boost next dies max value by th plus three. Sure. Why well, have like a ton of it? I don't know. It's uh, like I didn't I didn't go out of my way to, to do that. I think it's just because like a lot of things that I burned gave me that. It's a very common card, maybe. Oh look at that! We got a book of lobotomy corp. So I can't do this one yet. Oh, do I need another book of Walter to even come here? I don't think I can do this one yet. Um, Oh, maybe I can. No, I, I can't, because I need another Book of Walter. I burned them all. Oh, God. Okay, so we're going to have to do Walter again. <laughs> so, um, show of hands, is anyone uh, going to avoid... This, the next segment of the stream because I'm playing Gloomwood and you people still haven't played Gloomwood. I because I do want to play some Gloomwood today, but uh, I'm willing to continue to not if if it means that I lose people. work oh, okay P, P just does it we could just like hit P from now on Heisenberger crazy Heisenberger
Let's just let's just hit P and see what happens. There we go. Stagger. Nice. I think that's good. Yes, that is good. I finished Gloomwood and to be honest, I'm disappointed. Is it because it's only like three hours? Because it's, it's very much not finished yet. Walter fire truck monster truck. <laughs> Crazy fire truck. Nice. Nice. Have you started playing it because Big isn't very far? I, I, am, I haven't even finished the first area. I gloomed finish wood and to be disappointed, I'm honest. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna like smooth brain this because I'm, I have done this combat like four times now. Hi, Honest. I'm sorry you feel that way. I think one of my dudes is staggered. Oh no, I staggered someone else. Nice. AI is very much stupid. Also not including sprinting feels like the move to stretch playtime. I don't know about that. It also means that you can't just like, you know, when someone turns away, you can't just like sprint around them. So it, it might be a balancing thing as well, I'm a 10. Let's give it to Roland. Smack! Smash! Kill! Book of Walter obtained. Hey Gavin. Hi Honest. I'm sorry you feel I'm just kidding. I care not. Haha, <laughs> I f I'm sorry you feel that way. I don't care how you feel actually. <laughs> Alright, we got we got Walter's page, so that means we can do the next part. There we go. Big sis, you've seen the message from T Corp, right? What? When did we get that? I understand why you wanted me to do the this the story now. Oh, bugger! I'm about to vom. She threw a huge drinking party with her friends from the same corner of the. Uh, uh, now I really get why I'm a Dan wanted to do this storyline. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say it. I don't care that you broke your elbow. <laughs> They occupied the whole pub and got wasted all night, I heard. Uh, just how much did you drink this time? Oi, rain. My head's still ringing from the hangover, so keep the lecture for later, yeah? Maybe in an hour or so? I was gathering va valuable things and there's no way to use them. Plus, it was two years from last demo and it still feels like a demo. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna play more of it today. This receipt says you used our office to funds to pay for it too. Thank you for utilizing Warp's services as always. The next train departing is Warp Train UW212. All passengers, please check your pass and make sure you are in the correct carriage for travel. And remember, watch for it. Warn us. We'll be. We'll all be good. I'm not gonna stream next week. It's true. Uh, what did Andrino say? Which food is more people food? Barbecue or pizza? 
That is a tough question. I would say barbecue. Uh, I like pizza more in some ways, but I think barbecue is more of a social thing than pizza. Pizza is like a very kind of casual, like you can have some, or it's a hungry food. Like, you know, you order it cause you're hungry, but like barbecue is like, Hey, y y you, you want to come over? I'm having a barbecue, you know, like you don't necessarily invite someone for pizza, but you would like invite your neighbors over or something for barbecue. So I'd say it's more the people food. It's the best girl plus best deck build plus beginning of our shared train trauma. <laughs> I always feel ill and out of sorts when I board warps trains. Just don't make an arse of yourself like last time. Anyway, this request is rather unexpected. One from R Corp of all places. Isn't it something right uh, dangerous if R Corp has to request another party to do the job? What is it with the 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 people in this game and like really bizarre over the top weaponry? <laughs> uh oh, train arc. They might be just using a no-name office like us as bait to test the waters before they do it themselves. Pizza is a couch food. Barbecue is like, let's chill by the pool. Who's the client for that request? The captain of the rabbit team herself. Who? The kids might be thinking I'm just an easygoing drunkard, but every action of mine is calculated, you see. There she goes again. That mayo lass is an old maid of mine. I drank with her just yesterday. You mean? She said she's got an easy job for me. Says all I gotta do is give her a small cut of the reward. No wonder you were so proud about going out for a drink. I was in a rather good mood, so I let her dine like a king and paid for all that with the office card. Is Mio a trustworthy person? She acts like a hot-headed lass, but she's actually pretty nice deep down inside when you get to know her. When you're an augmented killing machine, why not use crazy chainsaw swords? I guess. What? Yeah, why not? I swear down, I'll curse you for the rest of my life if it turns out to be weird nonsense again. All passengers, please board warp train UW-12. It's nice to be on a vacation after so long. This is our first time taking a warp ride. Is everything going to be okay? You're such a worry word, darling. So many people use warp every day. I heard there were several accidents when they were first starting out. You can just stay by my side and keep your eyes closed if you're so worried, silly. Okay, I'll stick fast to you and hold tight. Take care of the mess if, it, if I happen to vomit on this carriage train. Big sis, please. Attention all passengers, please fasten your seatbelts. We're departing now. Oi. I've always wondered, what's the point of these seatbelts? Courtesy, I suppose. Who knows, it might actually be better than nothing. We'll be initiating the warp in 10 minutes. Oh, you were clinging on to me like a baby. Well, you never know. We'll be there in just 10 seconds after the train starts, but you're cute, so I'll let you be. Uh-huh. Why do we have to sit right behind those two lousy lovebirds? Chicken wing, chicken wing, eating macaroni, chilling with my homies. Please do not open the doors while the train is in warp. I'll be taking a nap. Wake me up when we're there. It's going to take less than 10 minutes anyway. Whatever. Big sis, big sis, wake up. Well, what is it this time? Something seems to have gone wrong. It's been an hour since we departed, but the train still hasn't arrived at its stop. What's happening, Mary? You said we'd be there in just 10 seconds. That's strange. It shouldn't take any longer than that. Six hours in. Bollocks. Did we get unlucky or what? Orp hasn't had any accidents in the last 10 years, though. Did I hear no stream next week? That's too bad. This might be the last one I catch then. Um, yeah, no stream. Well, okay, no stream next Tuesday. But there may be a stream next week, just, you know, maybe on a different day of the week. Um, once I get back from my trip, then I'll be able to figure out when. And I'll uh, put up a preview stream so you can you can see what day it'll be. And then after that, in October, I'm going to have two streams a week in order to play some spooky games. So that should be a lot of fun. We might end up getting trapped here. We're breaking through the door if anything goes wrong. You're insane. The warning said you'll get sucked into space if we try to open the doors while the train's in warp. 17 hours in. I'm going to lose my mind. Where are we? I can't even take off a seatbelt. Tommy, everything will be fine soon enough. I'm sorry, it's my fault for asking to take a warp train. The train seems to be operating still. Well, I take out your tools now. We're cutting off this bloody seatbelt. 
But why last stream though? What? 31 hours in. This is driving me nuts. 300 people, 300 so poor souls are trapped in here. Why the heck all about it? Uh, the atmosphere is getting eerie. Everyone seems more sensitive than usual. What's funnier is that I'm not feeling any thirst or hunger, even though we haven't had anything in last, the last 31 hours. I'm going to work in an office in a couple weeks and making a trip, uh, a quick trip before that. Uh, congratulations on possible new job. You won't even leave a dent on this bloody door. Guess we really are trapped. I don't see a way out of it. All we can do is wait. Looks like others are slowly losing their minds too. Oi, how about a, a, a how about a gamble? What do you mean a gamble? I'm saying maybe we use this an invitation. It's the stuff I got from Mio. Never thought I'd use it now. Here's my pen. I'll, I'd do anything to get out of this train too. Are you gonna play Eldritch someday? I will definitely play Eldritch one uh, someday. It's a it's a really good game. I'm not good at it, and it's really hard, but I will play it. A malfunction with warp, this could be a huge blow to W Corp's reputation if it ever gets out to the public. It was supposed to arrive at the destination in only 10 seconds, right? Yep, the warp train's operating with W Corp's singularity. They can get to any station in 10 seconds no matter how far away they are. A 30 second delay would be a big enough issue already, and a 30 hour delay? That's going to be outright fatal to the corporation's trust. Even if a, even a singularity can malfunction, it seems. I guess no technology is ever really flawless. Anyway, I might be able to have an unexpected reunion soon enough. You have any familiar faces in that office? Uh, it's good. New job should be better. Small team, Greenfield. I will... What? I will WFH? What does that mean? You mean Mio, the captain of the rabbit team then? Yes. Mm. So you had connections with one of the captains from our corp? An Olga person knowing her is surprising enough, but you have some impressive networking finesse too. It isn't a malfunction. But we probably won't be greeting each other with smiles when we do meet again. You weren't friends with her? Hey, you know what? I guess it makes more sense this way. What did you expect? Did you really think I would have any friends to casually chat with? I was just wondering, our corp is different from fixers on a fundamental level. Their work might seem familiar to what fixers do, but they take on things of a much larger scale with a much more professional mentality. Work from home. Oh, nice. Uh, so wait, are you working in office now? You are working in office. Yeah, work from home is, is the way to go. I expect no less from one of the wings. Aren't you relaxed? You know, this is teleportation. Much faster and better than W Corp's idiotic sing singularity. Are you really sure we can proceed so carelessly? You said that you got in that invitation from our corp. Mika, shut up for a bit. I'm gonna vomit right here if I hear another peep out of him. Rain is speaking the truth, though. Maybe we should have been more cautious. Sure, sure, no one is on my side. It's all thanks to my quick judgment that we could escape from that buggered train. Bugger is a very bad word, by the way. Greetings, dear guests. Good to see you, too, Lassie. I apologize. We're in a bit of a confusion right now. And she's hung over as well. I understand. I do have experience dealing with drunkards. Hey, you know what the hell is, was going on back there? All I know is that you are our guest invited to the library, I'm afraid. Huh, she's a bit nicer than what Mio told me. Work from home is nice, but also hard. Change will be good. We'll miss my dog. Yeah, I mean, that sucks. You see, we were supposed to dig into the relationship between L Corp and the library. That's what Mio asked us to do. I see, so that's how you know about me. And you know what's funny, lads? We're talking to a machine, not a person. Let's not anger her now. We'll take, just take the books, listen on the invitation, and leave. Listed on the invitation. Okay. Uh, 
Let's be blunt, Lassie. You know what relationships the library has with El Elcor Corp, don't you? Mia says the fact that you're in the library is indisputable evidence that this place is related to El Corp somehow or another. I'm sure you can find the answer to that in the books you seek. We're terribly sorry. We'll be going now. May you find your book in this place. I got a dip. Hope I see everyone on stream next week. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for dropping by, Gavin. This will be our last uh, combat for Library of Ruina today. And I'm going to smooth brain it as well. I'm, I'm Bimple really shortchanging Library of Ruina today. Hates the game. Confirmed. Wow, we're really not staggering that guy. Wow. Leave Loland alone. <laughs> I almost said Arone. <laughs> That's like actually bad. Oh, jeez. Whoa, look how far he had to run from. This game plays itself. I like, I like that one. It's just a safe get and it doesn't have too many flaws. Ooh, that was nice. Yes. Book of Mika obtained. We're gonna, we're hoping for uh, the book of, what's her name? Uh, Olga. Oof. Oof. Ah. Stagger her. Yes. Nice. Nice. I'm a tan killer. Book of Olga obtained. Very good. We'll take that now. Done. Book of Rain obtained. Next, he will kill Finn 50 times for the special books. Rip Void. Curtain calls for the reception of Molar Office. Cryogen- uh, sorry. Cybernetic Teeth. Any guesses on why R Corp cares about this place? L Corp was a major client of R Corp. And it disappeared into thin air, so it's natural for them to want to look into it. A major client of R Corp, huh? I guess that makes sense. L Corp and its nest were re weren't really special in terms of military power. Must have been a very important client for L R Corp if they were asked to protect uh, protect the whole nest. It was a mutual relationship too. L Corp was supplying supplying all the energy R Corp needed, and W Corp depended on L. Corp. Yo, stop it. <laughs> um, is L Corp the the one that the next game is based on? No, that's Lobotomy Corp. I don't know what I'm talking about. Three wings in collusion with each other, huh? So much for trickle-down economics. There's no mu no use complaining to me. I was simply following my orders. Yeah, employees gotta do whatever their boss tells them to do. Whatever. Whether it's the wings or the back streets. Big, have you played Prey? It might be a good game for Scary Stream. I actually bought Prey in, uh, in the hopes of playing it on stream. Um, that's it for Library of Ruina. Uh, that was a, quite a lot of it, but maybe not so much. Not as much as people would like, but, you know, enough. Uh, I think what I could do, Dimethorin, is um, after I finish Gloomwood, we could uh, I could swap to Prey for the middle segment. I've been uh, doing less, um, like, coverage, what do you call it, feature. Let me see if I have anything to feature. Because I always forget something. 